Hello, I'm Dr. Dana Eret, and I'm the Assistant Curator of Natural History at the New Jersey State Museum. And I'm here to wish you all a happy National Fossil Day. National Fossil Day is an annual day that celebrates all things paleontological. Everything related to the history of life on Earth based on research and also education. So today, what I thought I would do is take you behind the scenes to some of our collections here at the New Jersey State Museum and show you some fossils that aren't on display uh, and people can't see every single day. So let's open one of our cabinets and see what we have. First specimen that I'd like to show you all, this is part of a skull from an extinct marine reptile called a Mosasaur. And this is actually from Mosasaurus. This is one tooth from Mosasaurus. This uh, animal lived about 65 to 70 million years ago and swam in the oceans right along the coast of New Jersey. This specimen was found in Gloucester County back in the 1950s and while not currently on display, uh, it is being researched uh, all the time by different visiting researchers that come to the New Jersey State Museum to take measurements and study some of our wonderful fossils here. Let's take a look at some of the other fossils that we have in our collections. Let's take a look at what's inside this cabinet. So I'm going to slowly pull this drawer out, and what I see here is a fossil crocodile. This crocodile is called Hyposaurus, and it lived about 66 million years ago. And this specimen was collected in Gloucester County. So this is one of the limb bones from this Hyposaurus. We also have uh, multiple vertebrae that were actually found associated with one another. And I'll hold one of these up here. So this specimen is really interesting in that we have associated vertebrae or parts of the backbone. We have limb bones. We have some of the bony armor or osteoderms that were embedded in the skin of this crocodile. But also interestingly, we have something that you don't typically find. And this box holds a bunch of rounded rocks that we call gastroliths. Gastroliths are sometimes called stomach stones and these are, are rocks that were ingested or swallowed by the crocodile when it was alive to help keep it lower in the water column. This crocodile was a salt water crocodile, lived in the ocean, so by having more weight in its stomach it kept it lower in the water column. These rocks are nice and round and polished, and that's one way that we know that they are gastroliths. The other reason that we know they're gastroliths is that they were found in association with the skeleton in the area where the stomach would be. So these are just a few of the specimens that we have here in our collections that unfortunately we can't have on display all the time. So why can't we display all of our specimens all the time? Well, first of all, we just have too many specimens to display. If we had everything on display, there wouldn't be enough room to walk around the museum. And the second reason we can't display everything at the same time is that many of these specimens are fragile and delicate. And so they can't be exposed to UV light for long periods of time. Even the vibrations from people's feet walking around the Natural History Hall might disturb the fossils. But that's not to say that they're not being used. We have visiting researchers that come from all over the world to see our specimens, including our fossil crocodiles and mosasaurs, to do their research. So these specimens are being used all the time. Thank you for coming and visiting with me behind the scenes at the New Jersey State Museum, and have a great fossil day.